Okay, so looks like the live stream is finally coming up here. <clears throat> so tonight the plan is to buy, possibly buy, and build the Barn Find 32 Ford. I built it last night to just go screwing around and play with. Kind of did a street rod version of it. I'll show you this here while we get this going. And tonight, we're going to come back and see if we can do a drift build with the 32 Ford. And I've already gone to the wrong place. It's in barn finds. I love this car. It's probably my favorite car in the game right now at this point. You'll have to forgive me. I just got back from mountain biking. I've not taken my allergy medicine, so my eyes are itching. My nose is running. Like, everything's going on. I'll probably have an asthma attack in the middle of filming this. So, let's get this mic closer here so you can hear my lovely, lovely voice. And uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you this car. This is as the car is hey, now. Hey, Brian. A lot of people are talking about this driver. I think they'd be perfect for your lineup. And I hit walls when I look down while driving. So, you can see the car is super spin happy. This is even with the good race tires on it so we'll go to drone mode so we did this like basically a nostalgic street rod build last night the way I would build one of these cars if it was actually going to be something I would own and drive around myself black the original type steel wheels the flathead Ford engine tinted windows this is pretty much the way I would build it in real life I would go with different tires in real life but for the game I needed something that had a little bit of traction to it so the car has you know it's fully built as far as engine stuff goes so tonight we're going what I really like to do is, is buy up a bunch of these things instead of uh, instead of mucking up the one I got so let's go see if we can find some at the auction house and see if we can't just buy some up. El Auctiono Houso. Uh, let's see, the easiest way to find this would be go to Ford. So this is a barn find. I found it last night after getting the uh, Hot Wheels expansion. Um, car type. Rods and Customs, I believe. Let's see here. There's one, two, holy crap, 20 million credit buyout. Are these people insane? I could buy some of these F100s. I love these trucks. There's some more, 20 million, 20 million. Oh, look, the highest bid's only 1.4 million with two hours left. 20 million, that's insanity. So, since I only have 1.1 million credits, it looks like we're going to just have to muck up the one we have. We're going to screw it all up. We're going to... What am I doing? We're going to take this beautiful street rod tune off of it. I might get emotional for a minute. And, and make this into a drift build. Holy crap. So... First thing, I want to go back and look and see what body setup I want as a drift car. It's not really going to matter. It's not going to look right either way we go. So this is one preset for it. This is the one I'm running now. And then this is the original with a chopped top on it. I do not like the spare tires on the side there. But I'm thinking just to do something different, I think we're gonna go with this one here. Kind of go back to sort of a quasi stock look. And we need all the power we can get, so I've already converted to a 5.2 liter V8. And we have the centrifugal supercharger, I'm sorry, positive displacement supercharger. Um, the car was a little too spin happy last night, so I'm thinking I may go to a turbo, cut back on some of that initial 
torque and see if that helps out some. The engine should already be topped out in every way. We got all the power we need. In fact, we probably have too much power for this car. Let's see where we're at. 909 horsepower in a 2300 pound car. That's 1,000, 1,100 horsepower. I'm gonna leave this at the 900 range. I'd actually like to detune it a little bit to make it a little easier. So what do I want to do? I'd love this thing to get down into like the 700-ish range. There's 859, that's 51 horsepower lost. Let's knock this out. Increasing the weight of the flywheel does not decrease horsepower, but it will cause the engine to rev slower. So that may actually help me. <clears throat> Let's cut down on some of the air coming in. We're really detuning this thing a lot. Uh, leave the exhaust. Got to have the sound. Cams. Not sure if it changes sound in the game or not, but we're leaving cams. Uh, let's see here. There we go. 798. Which one was that? That was valve train. Let's see. Race block really is not going to change anything in real life, but it does on here. So we'll do that. 754 horsepower. I'm going to call it good at that. Now our suspension is already, I don't know why they change it here. We already have the uh, race springs and dampers or sport. So we have the best we can get there. We've already got the sway bar. Already got this sway bar. I believe I will go with the cage just in hopes that it may keep the car a little tighter and, and keep it flat. We're going to lighten it up. See if that helps us any also. Now tonight I'm going to do, since we want to do a drift build, I want to change my tires. Oh, you know what? I don't. I'm going to leave these tires on there. I want to change the wheels. That's what I came here for. And go with something a little more up to date. New world looking, I guess you'd say. Um, wow, this is not easy with the wheels painted red. I think I want to get out and paint the wheels just so I can kind of see what I'm actually doing here. So we'll come back to that. Front fascia, we've got the option of adding a really dumb looking spoiler on the bottom of the front bumper or removing the bumper. I think we're going to take the bumper off. The back, we have the option. Oh, this isn't the back. We have the option to go with a stock roof line which look that's hilarious it still has the chopped roll cage inside the car <laughs> so i'm going to keep it chopped actually what was my other option there oh the other option is beautiful yeah we can go with a full size top and a wing halfway mounted on the deck lid we're going to chop the top on this thing rear bumper yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to take away the bumper and the little luggage case or whatever it is. Hood. I hope this lets me take the spare tires off. That's the most important thing to me at this moment, and it's not. And that really sucks. Because those spare tires do not fit this car. Probably my biggest complaint right now on this car, if I were to talk to turn 10, would be those spare tires. They just don't fit the car. And most of these cars you see don't run around with spare tires on them. So let's get out of here, install this setup. Oh, we actually lost a little weight, lost 140 pounds and deliberately lost 230 horsepower. But we're still S1 class.
custom upgrade. No, we want to go back to the OEM paint on the wheels. This will allow me to look at all the other wheels and they won't all be red. So that will be nice. Give me, give me the ability to tell what I'm doing a little bit. Makes me happy. I'll try not to spend all night on the wheels. I do have a tendency to do that sometimes myself. Uh, let's go ahead and spread out the tires, make them a lot fatter. Maybe that'll help with stability. No, 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 no. What do I want to do here? Said I want to bring the car up to kind of modern day look and not an old school look. And I'm pretty picky about things like this, so this may take me a bit. Let's see. I'm not sticking with these wheels necessarily. Just going to look at them. Just look at it. That's a 21 inch rim. We're going to install this setup. Yeah, whatever. And I want to go back and now I want to just slam the car on the ground. I'm really into the way a car looks a lot. So you may see me doing a drift build where I spend half my time worrying about paint and stuff like that. So we're going to tuning this time and slamming the car. Gearing, da, 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 springs. Front is slammed. Let's go down with the rear. <coughs> oh. So like I was saying earlier, you may not have heard me. I just finished a big mountain bike training time. So I'm like all congested up and screwed up and itchy eyes and stuff. So you'll have to forgive me if I'm hacking and coughing and junk. Okay, so the car is down as low as the game's going to let us get it. Those wheels don't look that bad, but I'm just not digging that spare tire on there at all. Let's see what happens when we go to a different look. Not bad, but that's what I had a minute ago. So we'll do this one here. It's got the little fenderettes on it. I don't like those things at all, but I think it helps out with what I'm trying to do today. Um, let's see, we want to go. What else was it? Here we go. So we want to take that bumper back off of there. Now who, who told it? This thing looks like a bulldozer with that thing on there. Like literally, looks like it's got a snowplow on it. Here we go. Nope. There we go. Now let's see. Now we've got some options. I'm thinking this right here for the drift build. That looks cool, kind of, but I'm thinking this. So we've got like a mixture of new school, old school going on. And that's always a good thing. Let's go back in. It looks like when we did the preset, it screwed up our tire diameter, or not diameter, but width. Now it's only letting me adjust the back. That's okay, I'm not too worried. So, you know, I think I actually kind of like these wheels on here. I didn't mean to like them when I put them on there.
that's not too bad for a drift build. Kind of gives the car like a, a purposeful look. These look good. These wheels I've seen for sale in the car world. Now, I don't think by Krager, but by other brands. And they're, they're called a Salt Flat Racer. So that's kind of a, a nice looking wheel. It actually has the right look on this. Oh, adds 31 pounds, but I may have to do this for now. That just, that's just, that fits. Fits like a glove. So let's take this. I think we've done everything we want to do here. I think. Double checking myself. Yeah, it looks like it. So. We're going to take this up. And try to drift it. Looks like we gained 300 pounds there. And I hit the wrong button. And I hit it again. View basket. Whatever. Buy and install. There we go, finally. Trapped in a circle there. So I could paint the car. You know, I'm thinking drift drift build again, so I kinda wanna give it a a look like a drift car. Let's just see if we can drift the thing at all first. Get out of here. Let's go back into it. We'll do a rough tune. Uh, rough tune, I want... Man, th this thing actually spins so bad, I might, I might regret this. I might want to leave the uh, tire pressure down low. This thing is really just stupid spin happy. Uh, even though it's a 6-speed, I'm going to 317 gear. And... Wait, wait. Negative camber. I'm going to tow it out just a bit. Anti-roll bars. Let's make them stiff. Like, real stiff. Springs. You know, I think I'm going to go try drifting it first before I change too much. It's my experience with this car last night was it just will turn around on you in a heartbeat. Let's go ahead and get up here. In the parking lot. I forgot I don't like to drive with a manual but anytime I drift I have to use a manual definitely if you're struggling with drifting in these cars on this game you have to switch to a manual so if you're trying to trying to drift with an automatic is just unless you're just sliding like in an all-wheel drive drift or something it's next to impossible okay Did I set this thing all the way on the ground? I think I did. So here we go. Hey, I actually got a wall tap. Completely unintentional. And then I got uh, lawn and garden tap there also, it looks like. A little clutch. Little clutch trick here. Bop, 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 bop. This car, see what I'm saying? I mean, the thing wants to go all the way around so easy. Let me think for a minute. So, how am I going to stop this thing from wrapping all the way around? Any of you, like, guru tuners can chime in here. Let's see. And I apologize, I have a hard time reading comments. So, I'm going to lean over here. I totally agree with you there on the backspacing on the wheels. 
it doesn't look right to see a shallow wheel on a car like this. I think I'll start with going down to like a, let's, let's decrease tire pressure and see what this changes. And you know, I think I'll also open up my differential in the D cell. So when I'm hitting the gas, both wheels are locked up, but when I get off the gas, it opens it up a little bit and lets the car want to kind of straighten out because that's what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to use my throttle to control whether I'm sideways or not sideways. So I'm going to open that up all the way and then take it for a test spin. We are going to perfect this tonight or give up. I guess that's the other option too. Okay, so now we have all the air out of our back tires. Oh, <laughs> the car actually went straight when I hit the gas that time. Uh, for the same reason you don't see these things drifting in real life. It's a little lightweight car. Short wheelbase. Very narrow in width. So not... It's not easy to get a nice controlled slide with it. Um, I'm going to have to... I'm getting too much traction there. When I'm hitting the gas, the cars want to go straight. Like literally, like launch and go straight. So instead of changing tire pressure, I'm going to open the differential up some. See how bad this screws things up. Wow. So it seems like we're on the verge of getting it right. We kind of get a good drift going every once in a while. We can't just keep it going. It's very easy for this car to want to just come around too much. Kind of got to think here for a minute. Don't want it to wrap all the way around. I know there's a way, I've, I've heard that there's a way anyhow, to increase steering angle. And I don't know how to do that. So let's see. Tire pressure and more toe out in front. Okay, let's go with that. So toe out. Which one, which one, which one? Front toe out. How far you think? We'll just jump way out there and see what happens. Uh, camber. You know, I may stand that up a little more. And what's the thoughts on tire pressure there? Less tire pressure. I've got my tire pressure all the way down as it is right now. Oh, there. thinking now even though the car's sliding out a little too much i want the car to initiate a little easier so i may bump up the tire pressure just a teensy bit there Try different gears, see how that helps. There we 
go. There we go. That was getting better. I think the added toe definitely helped. Let's maybe even bring that toe out some more. See. So I've got my PC screen like way over here to the right, so I have a hard time reading comments. You'll see me cutting away and looking over. I can't read everybody's name. Let's see, try messing with the sway bars. Get less oversteer. Let's see, oversteer. So I think right now the sway bars are tightened all the way up. Let's make a lap or two and then we'll go into the sway bars and see. You know, if all this stuff wasn't here for me to hit, I wouldn't be hitting it. So let's go here. Sway bars. Let's think for a second here. So they're tightened all the way up. Rear toe in also. You think if I loosen the sway bars just a bit to kind of let the body sway? Might actually cause it to hook a little bit, maybe. Take some out there. And alignment, let's tow the rear in some. I'll go one degree there. How is that light floating in midair? Was that like a, that's not even a light. That's a little miniature spaceship flying over the car. Get the heck out of here. Okay, it's gone. So, you know what would really help this car drift better? Really, something nobody's even mentioned. A better driver. I know that would, that would completely help. So here we go. Getting more drivable, I can tell. Let's take a look. Nope, can't do that. Let's take a look at how these wheels are turning. That to me looks like it's actually turning pretty far. But maybe not. Maybe, maybe that's just maybe it just looks that way. I'm going to do a little personal thing here too. I'm going to change the gear ratio a little bit and gear it higher. I mean lower. I gear it lower. So I can run in third gear and hopefully be somewhere in between second and third, the way second and third has been. So a little more gear and a little less gear. Might have made sense if I actually got one of my drift cars out and like warmed up before I started this live stream. That was my fault there. The car's getting better, definitely. Definitely getting better. I think the driver could get a little better. Could be spot on here. Instant stop.
go 30-ish PSI on the rear. See what happens there. Thirty-ish, okay. Just waiting for somebody to start trolling me and giving me bad advice. Okay, let's come over here and line up. Um, we need to do a burnout. That's really important. Wings too far out on that one there. Puts me out in the weeds. Rock crawling in a parking lot. There we go. Making it look easy. This car is very unforgiving. You start to go too far, and you've just gone too far, and that's all there is to it. Well, this car, I think, is getting much, much better. I'm definitely having to use the throttle to really control wheel speed. You're just really right on the edge of either too much wheel speed or not enough. It's like there's not much in between. That sweet spot where you want to keep it, such a fine line. If your tires get too slow, it hooks and goes straight forward. Or too fast, it goes all the way around. So what's that mean to me? What do I need to do here? Looking maybe a little bit more tire pressure maybe? We're at 30-ish now. I want to like 25 maybe? So I'm really, it's right there. It's like a fine line with things getting closer. Go to 27.5. Let's see. Hey, thanks for the comment. I appreciate you guys watching there. Three, two, four, keep up the great. Cool. I've really got to get my screen over here. Either there or get some bifocals, maybe. Do they make bifocals for uh, YouTube live streamers? 
Maybe not yet, maybe like 30 days from now. When the rest of you catch up to get to where you need them. So let's see. Okay, let me get back. Gotta get focused again. Still got a little bit of a runner's high from where I was mountain biking, so kind of got that. If you've ever had a runner's high or mountain bike and stuff, kind of a little bit disoriented. And it takes you a while to get over it. So, trying to drift in a video game is not a good way to get over it. Especially with a 32 Ford. nice if there was a drifting parking lot that just had like some cones or something something that's not gonna just screw the track up and stop you hey Brian you have a friend in an online free room I session. have a friend in Would an online like to join their game? not at the moment I'm working on my drift car I'm starting to like this. I'm starting to feel a little more confident. Like just more practice maybe. And I know there's a little bit more tweaking to be done here. To make this part actually drift. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, real nice. Not nice. Didn't mean to do that. Have I completed the drift drift tune on this car yet? I think I'm getting close. All the way around with it. Okay, so now we're getting some rain. This is going to screw everything up. So while it rains, I think I'm going to go back and work on giving this thing some kind of a paint job that looks like a drift car. Because you know all drift cars look alike and stuff. Trying to drift in the rain and heavy traffic is more difficult than it sounds. In the rain and heavy traffic. I love the way the car looks right now, don't get me wrong. But I'm thinking if I'm going to take this thing to a drift meet or something, I want it to actually look, I don't know, have some color to it. So, so we're going to have to liven this thing up. Let's see what happens when a redneck takes his hot rod to a drift meet. How does he paint it? How do I do this and not insult everybody that's into drifting? I don't want to do that. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. Tint the chrome, some like gloss.
in case you haven't noticed, I really like shiny, bright, brilliant looking colors. Oh, that looks good. I like that. But when I think drifting, I think like some of the really bright stuff. You know, I haven't done a car that's blue yet. Let's see here. I'm not going to do that. That's that's horrible. Um, can't tint any of the uh, camos and woods. We've got matte. We've got two tone polished. Okay. I'm building this car myself. I'm taking it to the drift meet. This is going to be some bright colors. We're going to start here. This just popped in my head. We're going with a matte purple. Because, you know, that's what everybody does. Everybody. Everybody. All the cool kids. Matte purple to start with. I'm already regretting this, but I'm going to stick with it. Matte purple. What, what made this pop into my head? I must have had too much mac and cheese before I started here. Um, da -da -da. No, I want purple, not pink, not Pepto Bismol. I want purple. Okay, you can completely troll me, berate me, whatever you want to about the purple. I go with like an amber window tint. That's actually really, it's kind of dark. It's hard to see. The wheels I'm going to leave alone right now because I want to go back and change the wheels that's a nice looking street car wheel and the car looks beautiful and black with those wheels now i want to go back and do just like a like a really big dark like a black wheel or something or a bright color but i want it to look like like a type of wheel you might see like on a newer car So that means getting away from the Krager five stars. Staying away from that kind of stuff too. I'm thinking something more like along these lines, more like a, a tuner or a sports car type look. That that's pretty cool. The Momos. Momo is something that would be you kind of think of when you're thinking drifting. Uh, there's some more Momos. We're, we're not doing that. Heck no. The rotiform stats, those are cool. How do I get that? I like the way that looks too. Doesn't look like the drift. It's not what I'm going with, but I love the way that looks. I would totally drive that car. Let's go back down here and check out these Momos and Rotiforms again. I'm liking that one. I'm liking that. That that looks like drift car to me. Let's go with this. We've already maxed out our size. Yeah. Drift car. There we go. For some reason, I like to just go back and look at this thing <laughs> with the top all tall like that. Sometimes it actually looks good when you see a car that's kind of hot rotted with the original height roof line, but it's pretty goofy looking on here. 
You know what? For the drift look, let's let's check out our hood options again. This is really important stuff. Do not like that. It just doesn't work right. For one, you see where the engine's setting in the car. It's down low, way low. And so, boom, all of a sudden the engine's like two feet up in the air. So, that's a little hokey. Oh, now that's not too bad. I like it without the hood, but the blacked out engine looks a little better than all the chrome and stuff. Even though this is what a stock engine would look like in one of these cars. I'm going to go this way just for the black, just, uh, just to black out the engine. What did we change about the car? Nothing but the looks. Good. That's what I wanted. All right, now we've got to do, hit the wrong button again. Now we've got to do a little bit of applying decals. This is where I shamelessly promote my channel name. It's going to be a little bit hard now that I've, now that I have uh, gotten a custom color on the car, it's a little bit hard to match it if I wanted to go with like a purple background. So let's try the red here, kind of similar to what we've got going on with the wheels, how they have the little bit of red line on them with the black. There we go. Now I need to kind of add a little bit of red or black or something along the bottom of the car and going up to help even that out. You know, let's see. Do I want to do the top of the car in black with maybe like a red line around it? Let's see, see what happens when I do this. Don't want the fenders. Okay, so it kind of sucks that when I try to paint the black on the top, it's doing this funky, it's cutting off at really weird places. So I, I don't think I want my fenders black back here. But then again, it does make them just kind of go away so you don't see it. So yeah, let's leave that there for now. Now I want to, let's see, go up here. Let's cut this, paste it back in, go to the right side, paste it back in here. I'm going to move it up. Until it hits right around there on that body line. I'll leave it there, cut it. Put it down below all this stuff there so we got the letters coming up over it still not completely in love with it yet that did what we needed to there so back to here let's just put another one in that it's starting to come along now so I'm thinking I'm going to start with a whole different shape here final shape to get that curve on the back there just right uh, is this what I want I keep asking these questions like I'm going to listen to anyone else that talks to me about it this is what I'm going to do
Oh wow, that just almost landed right where I want it, so I'm going to skew it a little bit. Spin it. I skewed it too much, didn't I? Skew it back. Or unskew it, I guess you'd say. Spin it this way. Da, 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 da. So close. So close. I'm going to stamp that and then take this other one that we've just added and just spin it. We're going to spin it the right direction until it fills in that bottom piece on the back there. Stamp that. Move down here. Well, I just hit the wrong button again. I'm trying to catch that last little bit down there at the bottom. Good enough for a drift car. That's not too shabby. Part of me wants to go and do the red line to highlight that. But let's try something else first. Let's go back to the shapes. Let's go to some of the funky kind of messed up looking stuff here. I think that's actually what they call this. T the technical term for these are the funky, messed up looking stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I'm not into the nature stuff. I'm not into the tribal stuff. I'm not into the paint stuff. I'm not into the flame stuff. I'm not into the racetrack stuff. Something like this, maybe. Da, 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 da. That's what I'm looking for. So here, we're going to go with black. I'm going to spin this all the way around. And I'm going to take my size. I'm going to go nuts with it here. Is that right? Is that where I want it? Stay with me here. I'm going to make this work somehow. Size this way, this way, this way. I want to make it fatter. You know what? I'll stamp it and then do the wrong thing there. Stamp and stamp. And I just put all of those on top of my clutch trick logo, which I meant to do the opposite. I meant to put it below it. We can do this pretty easy, just take some time. There we go. Actually, let's take that out. I like that little bit in there. So now we want to, let's see, find that top one. Cut and paste it, paste it, take the bottom one, change the color, go to a previous color, back to my red, back into there, and we're going to move it just a little bit, kind of give us a little red to break up what we got going on, hit the stamp button, then go down with it, we'll call that good. You think too much maybe? Did I go too far with that? Let's finish out. Let's do the front. Let's kind of do some of our other stuff here before we say that's good. Oh great, it looks like we're going to be stuck with a little purple line right at the top of the windshield. And I don't like that a bit. Also, I've got right at the bottom of the windshield a little bit there. How the heck am I going to paint that purple line across the front?
that doesn't want to move forward. I think we might be stuck with that. I can try making this more narrow simply by doing the other thing. So I want to, I really want to see what it looks like without, yeah, there we go, without the black on the fenderettes there. Okay, I'm kind of liking that a little bit. I don't know. I like it both ways. I think that's when you're indecisive. So I'm a little indecisive here. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the fenderettes purple. I don't like my little purple line at the top of the roof there, but I think I'm stuck with it. The grill shell is nice looking there. <laughs> you know, here I am going to change one thing. These down here, I'm going to change the color. Still going to be red, but I need to fine tune it. It, it looks like it's it's kind of taken away from the clutch trick a little bit. So let's darken it up some. Keep it in the same family, but dark. So maybe that didn't help a whole lot, but kind of got it. Let's get away from the flashing stuff. Got it to where the red around the clutch trick stands out a little bit more. A little bit brighter looking there. Okay. And one last little thing here. Load final group. Got to make sure people can actually find the channel. Will it go down? Oh, it will not let you take this down onto the frame. No decals on the frame, it says. So there we go. A little bit of that. Now we go to the left side and migrate everything over. It does not completely work out, so we've got to come through here, take out all of the layers, all of my vinyl groups have got to go. And the way I make this the same, so I get the exact same size and everything, is I just come back over here to the other side and cut it out. Cut, paste it back in, come over here, paste it in. Move it down to where I want it, kind of ish. Yeah, kind of look over here. Can't look over there. So then I'll put that in. Same thing. Cut it out, paste it in, paste it in again. Take the bottom one, change my color to the bright red. Then go in here to move. Kind of zoom in. I don't know about your screen, but my screen, this looks really dark. Could also be the light shining in my eyes to make it so you can actually see my face. There we go. Now I'll go over here and cut this one out to make sure I get the exact same size. Paste it back in. Run it down here. I like to try to match things up as much as I can. So there I have four letters in front of the door jam. So I go back over here and it looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five. So one of them is an L, so that's a little bit different. So we'll go, we'll split the difference, make it four and a half. Rear of the car, final shape, da, 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 load final group.
Go to a previous color. Yeah, we'll do that. So a really cool thing I like when I do this is I can go back now into the paint and I can change that purple to any color I want and all the stickers stay the same. So I could change it to red, I can make it black, whatever I want to and totally change the look of the car very quickly and simply. And if I just get sick of this purple on here, which probably will happen pretty quick, then I can just go back and make this thing look totally different really fast. So like here, that's what it looks like when I go to black. Still got all of our stickers we just put on it. Previous color. Let's see. Do. I actually kind of like the orange there. Uh, let's go back into special colors here. Man, even I like that. That's pretty cool. So let's let's go. Let's try something here. Instead of the matte color, go semi gloss and go back for our purple look again. To actually see what you're doing, you have to change the saturation here. I like to put my saturation somewhere between 70 and 80 on the numbers. It's not too much. Wow, we screwed up on the windshield there, didn't we? I never did come back and fix that. So, we'll go back to the matte purple. <clears throat> I better fix the windshield just in case somebody wants to download this. See, tonight is, what, Thursday? Tomorrow's Friday. <clears throat> Saturday I work. In the next couple of days, I'm going to come back and do a patinaed rusty paint job on this car and probably do like an actual try to make this car fast at that time like an actual race car type build so where is when I'm on the right side it does not fill in that part so when I'm on the top it does not fill in that either so that's just like a section you can't get to wonderful that's what I like to see. Let's go drift this thing. Drift it right into a wall. Very low wheel speed, and the car still is coming all the way around. Let's try opening up the differential a little more. A little bit more here. Differential, differentiales. 50%, just slightly below 50% at 40%. Okay. 
Okay, let's head back up here to the parking lot, catch a little bit of drifting, and call this a built car. Dun -da -da -dun, dun -da 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 -da. Have you ever jumped something, jumped a danger sign, and then tried to go into photo mode and wondered why the camera moves so slow that it takes like an hour just to, to move all the way around the car? It finally dawned on me one day that it's because the car is in slow motion. So when you go <laughs> to photo mode, the camera is in slow motion. And it's just, it's like, it's insane. It, it took me forever to figure that out. You would think it would be common sense, but... Sometimes common sense isn't common. I'm driving this thing at like half throttle. And then just lifting the throttle a little bit to get it to kick out a little further when I need to. Looks like we're finally somewhat drifting with this car. I think we have finally achieved, well, as I say that I'm hitting a tree, I think I've finally achieved a fairly decent drift car with the 32 Ford Roadster. I need to slap myself. 32 Ford, five window coupe, a Roadster's a convertible. So if you're into these cars and you heard me say that, please forgive me. Please ignore that I said that. I'm not that stupid. So there we go. I'm going to get off here and kill the last stream. I'll be back probably not tomorrow, probably the day after tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. And I'm going to make this thing a rusty, patinaed, all-wheel drive track car and enjoy it. So... When I turn this off, I'm actually going to probably let my son get on here and play some. So if you see my name, see Clutch Trick, running around, it won't actually be me. But that's okay, because he's pretty cool too. So I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys that actually helped me out on the tune here. I'm going to share the tune and share the paint job, even though you probably think it's really ugly. And uh, I'll do all that just as soon as the stream ends. So thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.